We're going to do very, very brief introductions uh, for everybody. Now you know me and Natasha. Um, all you need to say is your name and the company or type of business you're in or organization. Um, and if you've ever worked with Joomla, let me know. But I'm assuming that you haven't. So don't worry. So start with you. Hi, I'm Heather Bean. I'm the and that's a, is that financial? What is, what is that? Um, it's actually absorbing. It's a muscle care product for, for the horses. Yes, exactly. And it's also for the Because I saw the horse website. It was quite the cool. Yeah. It's nice. it sounds like a financial firm, though. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Tynan Power. Um, and right now, my and this is just under my name, um, that it's basically in uh, public speaking and education and doing publicity for other public speaking. Very good. My name is Sarah Levante. I'm a big time stove company, sell antique stoves. Were you here before? I, I, was, I think we've been in a similar place. I don't know. By the way, sorry. I'm a stove person. Yeah. Okay. I see people turn around and uh, okay. Don't look at me. Look at everybody. <laughs> I'm Barbara Zacchio. I'm a landlord in Greenfield, Mass. I rent out apartments, offices, and uh, commercial storefronts. And I'm independent web author. So have you worked with Steelers? But you worked with like, you developed websites? Oh, yeah. I'm Ron Allen. Um, I'm just kind of like uh, interested in it, uh, but I don't have any web experience. I'm Alan Belkin. I'm a independent software developer doing mostly um, uh, desktop software, database software, um, just a little bit of intranet stuff, mostly the kind of database back end. My name is Christine DeRunk, and I am just starting a vegetarian personal chef service called Christine's Cuisine. I'm Abby Kingman, and I'm sort of starting a business called Abacus Business Services, providing QuickBooks support and other uh, business support services. I'm Stacey Stiles, and I restore violin, so this is like way on the other side of the scale for me. Um, oh, and I don't have a website, although I've been doing my business for 15 years, so kind of. Corner here. <laughs> Good morning, my name is Gary Heaney. I'm a registered investment mm -hmm. advisor and trying to develop something for the use of my business. And I'm Dean Johnson. I'm a systems manager for a manager faster in Springfield. And we're in the web, current website stuff now, but we're looking to uh, use this in places and places today. Great. Now, even when you were talking, I was thinking about a couple of things you could do with Joomla. Um, for public speakers, you could have clips you know, embedded in the web page. You know, this, is our, this is our Speaker of the Week feature. For menus that you're sending out, you could have, let's say, a weekly email that goes out to people saying, you know, this week we're going to be doing this, this week we're going to do People can subscribe. People can subscribe to SMS sellers even for that. Um, for violin restoration, you could have before and after pictures. If it's, or even if, it, if it's a question of sound, you could also have audio from before and after, you know, after you've fixed this stuff up. And this stuff can all be done with Joomla. Um, we're not going to cover all of these features today, but we'll tell you how to get there. Okay? So I'm going to show you a few Joomla-based websites so you can get an idea of the variety that's out there. Okay. And these are not websites, for the most part, that I've created. They just have to be nice Joomla websites that are out there. So you wouldn't know, looking at this, that it was made with Joomla, but it was. Okay. This is more local. I actually know the woman who designed this. She had a lot of fun with the bugs. I think they actually, sometimes they flap or something. Oh, look what they do. They flap. That's quite cool. And this is also obviously done with Joomla. And I made this website, so I like to show it to people. See, it's nice, yes. It's got a lot of features as a synagogue in Maine. Okay. And all that I'm showing you now is just to get an idea of some of the stuff that's out there and that you can make a lot of different kind of websites with Joomla. Um, you can also make a very vanilla, boring website with Joomla if you want one. So. And the reason we have all this Jewish stuff up is because I make websites for synagogues. We have a division that does that, so that's why I tend to refer to that sometimes. And we're going to look at two more very quickly, and then we're going to dive in. And 
one of the most famous websites in Joomla is actually the Guggenheim. Just really impressive if you want to take a look. And if you ever, if you're, for you, people who are more technical, um, if you want to know whether a site is Joomla, you view the source. And if you're not technical, don't worry about this at all. And you see that it says Joomla 1.5. And that's a good clue that this is a Joomla website. Okay. So what is Joomla? So we have, this is the front end. Is everyone at the front end of their website now? I'm not quite there. Okay. I don't know. Okay, if, if for some reason you can't get that working, give her a, a different ticket on a later site. Um, this is what we call the front end of your website. This is what the public sees when they come visit your website. Um, we also have the back end. So I want you to open up a separate tab. Does everyone know how to open up a separate tab in Firefox or Internet Explorer? No. Okay. Well, I'm going to move away from the camera once again. I just Google. What you want to do is you want to go to File, and you want to go to New Tab oh. in Firefox. That's what you want to do. In the, second, in the second tab that you have open, I want you to type in the same URL as before, or you can copy it if you like, and then do a forward slash and the word administrator. So just like what you see up there, except with your number. It's okay to be using the You can do as long as you know what you're doing. It's fine. I'm a Chrome person myself, but I'm a Chrome. Yeah, I'm a Chrome junkie myself. Oh, that's Google's. Yeah. yeah. Is it okay to do that? No, no, don't worry. No, you're just going to use Firefox. Don't fear not. Don't get confused. Is everybody at the administrator login on a second tab? Okay. Who's not there? Everyone's telling the truth, right? Okay. Go there. Okay. So we can log in now. This is what we call the back end of the website. Front end. Back end. No one goes to the back end except for you and people who you authorize to go to the back end and do things to your website, update content, add information, install extensions. All this stuff is done to the back end. Okay? So log in to the back end of your website. On the card that you have with your student number, there is a username and password. Is the password sensitive? Yes. Now, when you log in, and I hope everyone logs in okay, you're going you're to get to the control panel. So everyone let me know when you're at the control panel. Or let me know when you're not at the control panel. You're at the control panel. You're at the control panel. Are you at the control panel? Okay. Are you at the control panel? You're at the control panel. Okay. Everyone, everyone's at the control panel, except for you? Yeah, I'm good. Everyone's at the control panel. Excellent. This is the control panel of Joomla. All of these are shortcuts. Add new article. Article Manager, Front Page Manager, everything that's in the control panel here is also in these drop down menus up here. If you mouse over them, you'll see that they drop down components, content menus, extensions, etc. So everything up here is just shortcuts, and that's up there. This is a Joomla website that we created for you. It has a few more things than a basic Joomla site. We installed some stuff to make it easier to work with, and so that you wouldn't have to do everything completely from scratch today, considering our time limitations. Um, and we have a list of everything that's installed, and it's, it's on in your paperwork, so don't worry about that. Um, so let's talk about Joomla. Okay, so content is the basis of any website. The way content is structured in Joomla is like this. On the top, you have sections. Okay, section. It's a very simple hierarchy. Sections on top. You'd only need one section, usually, for a small business website. Okay? Underneath of sections, you have categories. Usually, you have more than one category but you don't have to. An example might be a section, might be Joe's business. Category might be services, a category might be products, a category might be about us. And the articles go into categories. So the articles in about us, for example, might include um, history of the company, what we do, um, biographies, contact us information. All that stuff might go under about us. In products, you might have articles about your different products and services about the different services. Is this making sense so far? We said section, one or more, usually one is enough, and then categories. I would not, unless you absolutely need to make a zillion categories, I would keep it to under 10. 
this will just, it'll become clear later why this is a, a decent idea to do. Okay? Sections, categories, articles.